This morning in our Consumer Confidential, we are talking tips. How much should you give? Which ones can you skip? If you feel like you've reached a tipping point, our <laughs> senior consumer investigative correspondent, Vicki Wynn, she's here to help. And yeah. here's it. Let's start there, Vic, because tipping, you know, it used to be uh, it was, it was, you do a good job, you know, yeah. or, you know, you go to a nice restaurant, You're you tip 15, 20%. Service, right. Now, it does seem like there is this expectation that no matter where you go or what service is performed, you should be tipping. How did we get here? It is really contributing to a tipping fatigue in our society. Look, American culture, we are a very generous yes. people. Tipping is part of the norm, but there's a real debate going on right now, especially among American service workers who look at their counterparts in Europe and they don't depend as much on tips. And it's because people are saying, you're not paying us a living wage. Yep. Restaurant servers make as little as $4 an hour and they're expected to make up the rest in, in tips, tips, which is supported by everyone else. So there's a conversation happening about should employers pay more so that people aren't so dependent on mm -hmm. their tips. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the pandemic, that made us even more generous. Yes, uh, Creditcards.com says we tipped an average of $1.24 more per mm, service during the pandemic yeah. because we were so grateful to those grocery deliveries, yeah. those mm -hmm. food deliveries. Mm -hmm. But now we're kind of contracting <laughs> and we're actually tipping less than we did in 2019. In wow. fact, the number of people polled said uh, that... Uh, the times that they always tip at a sit-down restaurant is 73% now compared to 77% back that's in 2019. Not, that's not good. Part of the tipping fatigue, when you are standing in line and someone is just going to hand you a bagel yes. and then they turn they that turn little the screen thing. around and it says no tip. don't even make eye 15, contact 20, with you. 20, 25%. Yes. And there's a long line of people behind you and you just feel like, I got to tip something. That kind of makes people less likely to tip in other places. Right. So there's a... Debate about that, too. Like, when do you have to tip? There are services we've always tipped for, I yes. feel like. But how do we know how much exactly to tip for, say, getting your hair done or services like that? Yeah, the best rule of thumb when it comes to tipping, obviously tip what you can, but there are some expected standards. Pre-tax tipping, when you go to a restaurant, 20% is mm -hmm. pretty much the expectation for good service. There was a great article written by a former server in Food & Wine magazine, and they said, you know, even when they've had the most cringiest experience, they still tip 10%. Mm -hmm. The only times they say you can get away with zero is if the server it t absolutely ignores you, um, you know, That's or, or does something oh, terribly racist or offensive to you. That's mm -hmm. the only time where they feel like it's acceptable mm -hmm. to go down to zero. But beauty services, 20 percent. Delivery services, this one's interesting because Let's say you order a meal that is a little right. more expensive from Uber Eats. Right. You're going to be tipping a percentage of whatever that cost right. is, even though that meal might be literally lighter. the same effort lighter <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As, as a cheaper a delivery. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to look at the bill and decide what mm -hmm. do I think is fair for that. When it comes to hotels, I don't know. You tip the yes. housekeeping mm -hmm. each yes. night, yes. right? Yes. Exactly. So you know, I always kids. thought it was at least yeah. ten, yeah, ten dollars a night. But yeah. actually, some of the etiquette experts say anywhere from two to fifteen dollars, depending okay. on how many nights. But you're supposed to tip every night because there are different people that sure, come and yeah. oh, oh, absolutely. Right. Oh, yeah. Until the end. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. it's different. They oh. rotate different. through. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Just to follow up really quickly, Vic, because you just said something. A lot of times, people <laughs> on a receipt will see like a service charge. Yes. Or and I think a lot of people wonder, okay, well, is that the tip? Am, am I tipping there with the service charge? Yeah. So for a while, you would see this service surcharge or a COVID surcharge. In California, they do a health insurance surcharge. Mm -hmm. So surcharges are different from tips. Yeah. And if you have a question about just it, ask you should the ask. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Usually when there are groups of six or more, they will add oh, they an automatic, automatic gratuity of 18%. But sometimes that extra service charge, it depends on the restaurant. So you What about ask. the gray areas like, you know, a car wash, uh, where you've got multiple people doing it, or, or uh, to Dylan's point, where you're just picking up coffee? I know. So this is where the etiquette experts at emilypost.com say it's okay to avoid the guilt tip. Don't mm -hmm. tip if you don't feel like it was a personal service interaction. I would say at Car Wash, they're actually really doing something yeah. for you, and it yeah. is customary to tip. Sometimes they have the big tip jar right. so you can give yep. it to everybody, yes. and they usually pool their, their tips together. So with the gray area, the movers is another one. Mm -hmm. You're already paying hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars for a big move. Yeah. But, but not it, to those folks who are putting right. the stuff exactly. off the truck. Guys, they're working yeah. a 12-hour day. So yeah. if you can't don't have the cash to tip them 40 to 50 dollars each then consider buying sandwiches or pizza yeah, and right, drinks for right. everybody for the day you don't always have to tip in money okay. do what you can right you know, do i will what say you can. sue simmons one of our uh, legendary yeah. anchors here in new york sense. said folks like us there's a celebrity tax and so you have mm. to tip 30 percent now the difference so the sure difference with that Al. is if you serve <laughs> Al, you're going to get a 50 percent tip you serve one of us you, we can probably afford 25. No, <laughs>
He's very generous, <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Vicky, that was a great right. tip. Yeah, thank yeah, you. good one. Thank Have you. Had up. I, I had a well. I wish I had a five on me. I oh, and always carry <laughs> cash. Right. That's, the tip, other, that's the other tip. Always carry cash. Yeah, yeah. and small bills because yeah. you never know when the spirit moves you. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.